I saw a clip on Twitter yesterday from, it was a clip from uh, Tando Taburi, Tando Tabete's drive, di- drive Time Show on 94.7. And she was playing a clip by a lady, I think called Truly Zoe on Instagram, who was speaking about her girlfriend allowance. And it's been a topic for a couple of years in South Africa. I remember, I think Uboi D. Tulo has spoken about it at some point. I think Michal Damas has spoken about it at some point. Uh, I think Pearl Tusi may have spoken about it at some point. These ladies who basically expect to be given money for being someone's girlfriend. And it's a conversation that triggers <laughs> a lot of men because a lot of men are struggling. You know, they don't have jobs. They don't have money. Some have a very little bit of money. The ones that do have jobs have a lot of debt, a lot of responsibilities. And then it seems like some of these ladies that end up being it girls and trending and living a good life at some point, these guys are exposed as <laughs> scammers, fraudsters, making their money in dodgy ways. I don't know if he is doing dodgy things, but I remember the husband or ex-husband now of Fating Ketsi, Queen Twerk, handed himself over to the police recently. There was a story of, I don't know if it was Ayanda Tabete, I'd stand to be corrected, and her partner being involved in, in certain shady things. Um, we've heard stories about about Edwin Sordi and some of the it girls they've been they've been linked to. He's been linked to the asbestos uh, corruption uh, deal in the Free State. I think with about Ace Mahashule. So for a lot of guys, this whole girlfriend allowance thing is like, well, the guy who gives you an allowance number one is probably a jollof, <laughs> a Nigerian guy. Uh, jollof is is one of the foods, it's a rice mix. Um, that Nigerians love eating. So a lot of these Nigerian guys are called or Jolof. A lot of these Nigerian guys, some of them accused of, of being drug dealers. Some of them accused of shady of shady deals. A lot of the other guys that are deemed blessers are tenderpreneurs, politicians. I think Paul Mashadile, the deputy president, has been linked at giving one of his sides like half a million rand a month, which sounds ridiculous, um, etc., etc. So... My stance on a girlfriend allowance is one of a few ways. Number one, I think if a woman is getting money for nothing else but being a girlfriend and sleeping with a guy, she is nothing more than a contracted sex worker. So she has a tender, short-term, long-term tender with this guy who pays her every month so he has access to sex with her because she's offering no other value. It could also be that she's not just a sex worker, but she offers offers other t- under other services. She renders other services. So I give you a girlfriend allowance of 2,000 rand, 5,000 rand, 10,000 rand. But then it's also because you cook for me every night or every other night. You clean the house where we stay. You do my laundry. If I have children that are not yours, you help me with the babysitting and being a nanny. Um, and maybe if I have a business, you know, you assist me in some of the business deals and and, and uh, errands that need to be run. So it almost becomes an indirect or an informal salary and wage for all the value that you add to my life. On the other side, it's almost like when you give a partner money just for being your partner, it's no different from you seeing them as your child. Your woman then becomes your firstborn child because you are giving her an allowance like your normal child. If I have a daughter who is 14, 16, 18, I give her every money every month to do her hair, to do her nails, to buy toiletries, to get around, to go to the movies, etc. So your woman becomes your child. And that's where maybe some of these guys start getting this entitlement that you belong to me because you're like my child. You can't go around doing whatever you want. You don't have agency. You are not your own woman because this is my money. And you must listen to me as your father and let me dictate. One of the things I, I think about is... If we're going to say that couples should not be exchanging money with each other, whether it's the man giving the woman money or the woman giving the man money, there are a lot of women in South Africa carrying men every month. See a guy driving a car around, it's actually the woman's car. See a guy living in a house, it's actually the woman's house. Uh, When he needs things, she gives him uh, her card. When they go out, even with friends, she's like, babe, please, you pay so that you look like a man, which is kind of uh, a conversation for another day. If we're not going to be exchanging money because maybe it looks weird um, or if we're going to be exchanging money, is there fair value? I'll pay for this if you pay for that. I'll pay for the house if you pay for the car. 
I'll pay when we go out, if you'll pay for our movie nights, etc. Number one. Or should we be removing money completely and going to bartering? And saying, no, um, number one, sex is not a job because a woman doesn't give a man sex. Uh, they both have mutual sex together. I can't go to a woman and say, well, you took my sex. Therefore, you must pay me. I can't just give you this body and this dick for free. It's kind of ridiculous, but that's where we are today. Women feel like men take sex from them. They give sex to them. It's wild. But are we going to barter? If she's going to be cleaning the house, um, I must clean the cars. If she's going to be cooking, I must maybe take the cars for service. If she's going to be helping with the kids, I'll make sure that I bring groceries home. Um, when you go out and I pay for a meal, um, she's going to do the laundry. Maybe we need to look in how do we barter in relationships? How do we have fair value exchange so that the one person doesn't feel like they are exploiting and abusing the other one? And there's no real crazy sense of ownership. Pin you all the black pen. Like to hear your thoughts.